Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Rogue Tower with me, APQ. I'll admit, videos have been uh, all over the place recently, and I do apologise for that. Um, but we're back to some Rogue Tower today. Let's finish upgrading the uh, Frost Keep, which yes, I do need to still use in the video. Now, in my time away from the game, in my time away from YouTube, I have come to the conclusion that, um, you know, I just need to buy different towers. I know I always say I'm going to, and then I buy, I buy. I buy, um, oh, and then I buy, uh, you know, poison sprayers and stuff, and that's about it. So today's going to change. We have just unlocked every single card in the game, which is kind of interesting. Didn't think that was going to be happening today, but it did. And uh, what we're going to go for? Single defense. This is it. We haven't beaten 45, which is the final round. We've been one away every time. Well, we get to that round, and then we die. So, technically, we do get there. We just don't do well. Um, I'm not going to spam ballistas at the start, even though we do have houses. What just happened? Okay, let's get some. Uh, let's get some mortars, right? Let's expand here. Let's get another ballista. So mortars do get increased range, which kind of makes me want to put some on some plus three spots. But I think there's going to be a good spot. I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, the shredder unit as well. I'm going to put one of those down just about there, I think. Sure thing. Here we go. We've already got two different towers, three different towers, ballista, mortar and thingy. Um, I must say I'm not too keen on the particle cannon. But we're going to try it anyway. I'm going to keep moving on here. We're going to put a particle cannon down. I guess... Oh, I was about to say, what's that guy's range? His range is pretty big. Now, what I do know is that... This guy needs to target... What does it do most damage to again? Does it do most damage to armor? It does. Okay. Uh, let's 100% get the obelisk. Yo, that's kind of exciting. This guy's going to focus most armor, I think. Okay. I want an obelisk on there, guys, but it's going to cost me 1,000 gold, which, guess what? We're not there yet. Now, I should be putting things around the houses. Okay, we can put a few there because, you know, it can reach this little bit of land here. So they're helpful. Though. That's actually a really good spot. So let's get a few more ballistas around that area. Particle cannon. I mean, I should just sell that and get an obelisk instead. Um... Fortifies nearby paths with landmines. We've never seen this before, so guess what? We're getting it today. It's 500 gold, though. So we're not going to be getting it just yet. Oh, my God. Particle cannon is just popping off already. I want to get a house. Um, not a house. We have a ballista there. I will be the first to admit that I'm kind of in a bit of a... I don't know, weird state right now. I've got to get 1,000 gold for an obelisk because I really want to get an obelisk on there. Um, but we don't have 1,000 gold. And I didn't put loads of things around the houses at the start, so we're missing out on loads of gold. Let's get another one there. Can that reach? We can just about reach that corner. So that's still kind of helpful, I feel like. Maybe not. It's not fire the thing. It's just aiming. It's too slow to fire. Okay. Um, let's go ahead. Let's get all shredders gain plus one damage to health. Now, this is going very poorly right now. I'll be... I won't be actually, yeah, I will be the first to admit that. Because no one else is going to admit that, right? Right? Because there's no one else here. I need to change things up though, definitely. Okay, he should target this guy now. Although he hasn't really got the range for that. But he's still hitting people from that far away. I respect it. Okay, we could have put him on like a plus three or something, couldn't we? But maybe we can move him later on. Or we'll just get more of those, I suppose. Okay, put another ballista down. Hopefully this is going to pay off in the long run. Okay, guess what? Wait, right, spots enemies and magnifies the damage they take. Honestly, yes, but I'm going to go shredders first. Oh, we've got a split in the road here as well. Uh oh. Okay, clearly we need more ballistas over here as well. I think I have already lost this run, but it's like our first run in two weeks and I've been stupid. So it's, it's kind of expected, right? Can't really expect too much from me. We all know I'm not a good gamer. Okay, this guy is hitting some better things now. He's got no, no, uh, he's not in the range to attack these yet. Honestly, this guy's kind of vibrant. Like, he really is. And I'm kind of happy for him to just keep sniping people. He does do a lot of damage. Let's get some more ballistas down to try and help out with the money situation. 
right now they've only given us 200 gold because i didn't put them down early enough repair and then okay, honestly we could take this but i'm gonna go for sharpened blades all shredders gain plus three damage to health Okay, now there's not going to be that much room for more ballistas. We can probably get one, two, three more ballistas down by the houses. Then we need to find new houses. I think I want to get some more towers down, but I really want to purchase this. That's all, that's all I want right now. And uh, it's a thousand gold, so. I feel, I feel like this is the, this and the frost keep. I feel like are the things that are holding us back from winning, you know? Like, I've been wanting to slow people the whole time. Guess what a frost keep does, everybody? That's right, it slows. It slows enemies. It uses mana to slow enemies. Why haven't we been using that? <laughs> I'm bad, that's why. And all of you already knew that, but... All mortars gain plus one damage to armor, okay. Some good spots over here to place things, but guess what? It's ballista time. Well, it will be soon. But two more ballistas to place down around the main tower. This is very stupid in single defense, but there's so many houses there and there's none anywhere else on the board. I feel like it's the only chance I've got to really make some, you know, some house protection income. Okay, I respect them more and more than ever, honestly. I don't know why I never buy enough of these things. They're so good. Okay. I wish there was like visual upgrades to the towers. I mean, I know it's in early access and there's going to be loads of updates and stuff. But maybe that's one thing they can bring in. I'd absolutely love some visual updates to the towers when you upgrade them. I'm just a big fan of like things that look good, you know. I think everybody is, but... All mortars gain plus two... Oh, there's plus two range. Plus two damage to armor. I think that's important, actually. So we'll take that. We're going to place our last ballista down there. Okay, do I try and save up a little bit now for an obelisk? I think I do. I think I know where I want it as well. It's got to go there, although I would like one on this stretch of land as well. I think maybe we'll get, you know, something else on here. So the plan is to get one before the first Oogie round. The problem is, do we want the Oogie to get this far without being obelisked? Because judging by our towers, you know, they're not going to take a lot of damage by the time they get to here. We've got four towers down. Okay. Obviously, we've got, we've got five towers down. Apart from this big section here, we don't really count those. They're just there for like income and stuff. Which makes me think we should probably put some mortars down there instead of just ballistas. Or we should just, I was about to say put particle cannons, but like, I like this is a good spot for the particle cannon right now. Okay, we're going to go for all ballist no don't we don't care about that i'm gonna get mana siphons because i think we're gonna need it when we get the obelisk in town i think the obelisk is like a constant laser beam so it's probably gonna use a lot of mana we could actually almost afford the obelisk oh my god obelisk has been placed okay see how much mana it uses i'm excited for this i actually really am that's the way it works right so i'm hoping it's just gonna oh my god it really is obliterating everybody wants to get some damage upgrades as well that'll be pretty cool it's 12.50 for the next one i really want one there get both lanes if we can hold on for that long oh we definitely need mana siphons oh my god okay maybe we can't hold on for that long we're gonna need the mana banks they were really good last time so most of our gold at the minute is gonna be spent on mana siphons because we simply cannot operate the uh the obelisk without mana and it is using a lot we see a mana upgrade card on the next turn we might need it <laughs> okay um we don't need range yet on you i think we're gonna go for all shredders game plus one damage to armor and they keep extending this way. It's not the Oogie round yet. More mana siphons are coming into town. I feel like we need a lot more mana siphons, to be honest. It's kind of a scary issue, but... It's probably not the wisest thing to get two obelisks right now, then, if that's the case. Okay, it does melt for it, but... Hopefully we can counteract it soon. That uses, like... I feel like that uses like 10 per shot as well, maybe. More mana siphons. Oh my god. I'm 
plus 14 per second. It's like it's almost used all our mana this turn and there isn't that many enemies compared to normal. Okay, mana siphon there. Nice. Get some on there as well. There's another crystal down there. That's going to be handy. Is this going to be like an actual issue? Hopefully we can increase the range of this as well, by the way. Okay, I genuinely think... Is this the way? I feel like this could be the way. Just because of how much mana it uses makes you believe like it's a really strong tower. Um... All mortars gain blast radius. Okay, we'll take that. We're going to ex expand this way again. It's the Oogie round next turn, so we need to expand this way. Because then this will be the route that the Oogie goes. Not that it really matters, because there's no towers along the way. Do you know what I mean? But like... I feel like it just makes sense to buy us more time that way. That way, everything will be dead by the time the Oogie gets there, I hope. Here we go. We're on 21 mana generation a second now. We've got another crystal up here if needed. The plan for me is to still get another obelisk over here and then probably one over here. I don't know if that's really going to matter. I am just going to fill this up with mana siphons though because that's all the mana siphons we can get down and they're all, you know, they're all there basically. So we haven't really got an excuse if we do run out of mana apart from the fact the obelisk is uh, busted. Do I think it can kill an Oogie on its own? I really don't. And I don't know what I'm expecting here. I think I've been very stupid with my build. You might see me placing a few uh, ballistas down. Maybe down here to help. But See, I think that could help a lot. In all fairness, this guy is strong. So I, 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 was that so, do we demolish him and move him? Or do we demolish him and get like an obelisk over here? But he's, been, he's level 6 and he's kind of doing alright. So I don't really want to do that. We can't actually place any more mana siphons because there's no room. There's no mana crystals. Got to expand this way. We haven't seen any more houses apart from at the start, which is kind of weird. But also, I feel like we don't usually get this many houses at the start. Right, is anything here going to help? Okay, mortars gain burn damage. I do quite like that, if I'm being honest. But right now, what's going to help next turn? I think mana through the magic of the magic market. See, do you think this can kill an Oogie by the time it gets from there to there? I don't think it can. That's my issue here. There's the Oogie, everybody. We, I think we're doomed. I, I genuinely think we're doomed. Okay, I'm going to try and save. I feel like no matter what I do here, we are probably going to lose. I was going to put like a, an encampment down here so we get some landmines and stuff, but... Plan is let everybody get to this before he does, so... You know, everyone's dead, basically. And all he can focus on is the Oogie. Constantly laser beam in the Oogie. Like, he does shred these guys, right? But the Oogie's maybe got, like, 100 times uh, HP and armor. In fact, this one's got no armor, so it's just going to be HP. Maybe I should have taken that obelisk HP upgrade. We can almost afford a second one, actually. So maybe if we're quick enough, we can get one down. Just for this round, and then we can sell it next round. Let's put one there, then. Let's do it. Okay, we've got two obelisks down now. Let's see how strong they really are. The Oog is going to be the full test. Obviously, these are base level obelisks. No upgrades yet, really, I don't think. I do think we move this one over to here, though. Oh, my God. Okay. Particle cannon's doing damage. Mana's staying strong. There's only one shooting at the minute, but mana's staying strong, my friend. Oh, my God. Particle Cannon does do big chunks of damage. This is nice. I like that. Okay, here we go. Let's get... Um, well, Particle Cannon steal one damage to armor. Please give me some Obelisk upgrades. Okay, we're gonna, we are going to get all mortars gain 25% burn damage. We're also going to get... Excitation. All Particle Cannon steal one damage to health. And then I think we're just going to get... All mortars gain 25% burn damage. Not the best upgrades in the world, but we'll take them. So I'm going to leave that guy there. I'm going to put one here next and then one over here. Now they are 1500, so we've got a lot of work to do. Oh, I should have taken that that card that taxes the dead because we've got tombstones now. Also got a little mana crystal there for some more mana siphons. Okay, let's see how we do. Where do you think needs the, the first obelisk? Over here or over here? 
In fact, I might put one on there instead of this lane. Yeah, I'm going to put one on that corner there, I think, instead of here. Unless, if this does go round here, I'll put one there. Because then it can get both lanes kind of thing. It's 1500 for the next obelisk. I do believe that once we get three obelisks live on the board, though, we're going to need some uh, mana banks. Okay, we can afford our next one. Let's get it there. There we go. Reaches both lanes. Would have reached both lanes anyway, I suppose. But Oh, does not do a lot of damage to shields. This is going to be an issue. Okay, this does most right, this does most damage to armor. What does this actually deal most damage to? Also armor? Oh, it does So then you got a free shield multiplier. Well that's really bad. So do we just target these most armor as well, I guess? That's really gonna cause some issues. Feels like we absolutely need poison sprayers for the shields. It's about time I added some anyway, but you know. And we've, got, we've got an obelisk here that can do... It still does damage, right? It's not as much as you would expect it to do. Also, look at our mana. It's a good job we got mana bank, so I just need to buy some. But I'm going to use the siphons first. What have we got here? Um, all park or cannons deal plus one to shields. Honestly, yes. Expand this way. Oh, okay, that's... It's going to have to go there, isn't it? The next one. But I think we need to get mana banks first. Because this is a scary time to be alive. It's 500 for a mana bank. Parkour Cannon is sniping people from downtown though. You've got to respect it. Oh my god. Okay, we can get a mana bank down. Let's get that down then. So these guys, they store 20 mana and it generates 1 per second. You can, I think you can upgrade them as well. When we've got this many obelisks only three obelisks it's going to be an issue now the issue at the minute is still shields i don't think any of these affect shields the most what do you affect the most oh in fact we can yeah let's focus you on most shields you have a 22 shield multiplier that's huge everyone else's armor or i guess like health yeah what are you you're definitely yeah you're definitely health because you do bleed okay kind of interesting we're learning a bit today i guess trying out different towers i think i still want frost keeps though to slow out the whole route you know slow down the whole route not slow out that's kind of weird right i need some more mana banks because this is uh not helping down to 60 mana at the minute oh my god or mana i call it mana because of where i'm from <laughs> i'm sorry just sound like i'm saying mana like a mana house or a mana home Right, I'm hoping this guy's going to deal some big damage to the shield people. Nice. Maybe more particle cannons, though. They are 1250. I still think an obelisk over here is the next priority. But also mana. Or mana, sorry. Okay, what have we got here? All obelisks deal one damage to armor. Honestly, particle cannons dealing 25% poison damage seems pretty important to me. Because once again, the shields are the issue. We're just trying to learn today, all right? That's it. We're just trying to learn the game. Don't want to put any more mana banks down yet. I'd rather buy an obelisk before I buy another mana bank. It's 1750 for an obelisk. And I think that should do for our obelisks for the time being. Four of them. Because the fifth one's going to cost two grand, right? So if we get four, we need poison sprayers just to help out with the shield situation. The mortar, honestly, I need to get more mortars down because they are shredding the armor people. And obelisks are shredding all armor and health people, so that's not an issue, really. I did set these. That guy is most armor. This guy needs to be most armor. This guy is not most armor yet. You're most shields. You should just be whatever, really, I guess. But we're doing okay. We can almost afford that third obelisk. 350 gold away. I'm going to put it here so it gets both lanes. It'll basically target this lane until somebody gets in range here. But he's actually going to focus most armor. So maybe he won't target the first person. We'll see how it goes. We can almost afford it though. Here we go. 
Okay, most shields for you. Sorry, most armor for you as well. Okay, not too bad, you know. This guy's helping out a bunch. I do want more of those. Just not right now, I guess. Ooh, I've got to get sorcery. I do like this as well. But I feel like I need the mana at the minute. I don't want to buy mana banks. I know I'm going to have to, but I really don't want to. <laughs> Doing okay at the minute. We've got four obelisks now. Oh, these are the rapid guys. Okay. I would like to add frost keeps if we see any. I feel like adding this many towers at once does kind of, you know, saturate the uh, the card pool a bit. You know, the upgrade pool. Because you're going to see upgrades for all the towers instead of just like, one or two like we usually have. Okay, mana is definitely an issue. We need mana banks, dude. Let's just spend all our money on them. We need as much regen as we can get. We need the life steal or the mana steal card, whatever it's called. Let's use it to kind of balance out or just stay maxed, really. Every time it decreases, it's a little bit scary. I haven't got an Oogie for another like five, six turns though, so it's not the end of the world, but we are doing okay. Yes, I want more mortars, but for now, I think we're okay. What have we got here? Okay, we don't have any shrines yet. I'm going to go for all mortars, gain plus one damage to shields. Another mana bank, maybe, down here. Okay, plus 38 per second. Let's see how we do. Let's see how the mana does this turn. It's a scary time. Like, I get why they use so much, because, you know, they're so strong. And they are constantly active. Look, they're just permanently laser beam people. This more is just missing people at this point, because the obelisk's killing them. Which isn't that big of an issue, but still. Okay, this is still decreasing. I guess when three of them are shooting at once, it does kind of happen, but I want it. To, I want to fix that. Oh, look how low it's getting. Okay, we need mana cards <laughs> immediately. We're hitting zero. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't like it, guys. I'm scared. We can definitely still fix it, though. Okay, now that only like two are shooting, we are gaining a little bit. We are going to get more mana banks down. 42 per second. Maximum of 400 mana. We just need another card, I feel like. The lifesteal one will make a big difference. So not lifesteal. Is it actually, I think it is called lifesteal though. Okay, this is really good. And I do want to try this, but right now mana is like our ultimate priority. All mana banks store an additional 15 maximum mana. It takes our maximum to 550. Albeit they're not really going to have much time to actually gain. Or actually, maybe they will. Okay, I take it back. We are going to have to get all the way to the max. We're going to add some more as well. Plus 44 per second. There's no way we just win by doing this. We've got a lot of work to do still. I think that is it for the obelisks. I, don't, I want some more... I really want some more mortars, to be fair. We haven't put an encampment down yet, which I do want to do. I just want to fix the mana situation before we add any more towers. Okay, the fast guys. I mean, they get killed eventually, right? But... Doing too bad at the minute. That's with four shooting, pretty much. Can afford another one. Okay, nice. I'm terrified. Getting this up to like 3% would be good. I think. Because we've got a lot more. Oh, that's true. It increases our maximum mana. So that technically is like 6 per second, I guess, at the minute. days right 
So we've got like four more waves till the Oogie. Or three more waves after this then, the Oogie. Which is, which is scary because the Oogie's going to have, I guess, armor and a shield at this point, right? Okay. Oh, God. Um, I still want this, but I need to upgrade things instead. More poison damage, I think it's going to be a yes. We need as many mana banks as we can get at this point, so we're going to get a few more of these down. Oh, I thought that was going to expand it in on itself for a portal. That would have been very helpful. Okay, more mana bank. There's no more crystal. Oh, there is a crystal now. Okay, nice. We can actually get another siphon down there as well. Okay, cool. We can get, uh, like, what, four, four siphons down there. Help out a little bit. We're on plus 51 a second right now. This is going to catch us off guard at some point, though. We can't just live with four obelisks doing all the work. This random ballista here that shoots every now and then, and this one. Oh, and a mortar and a shredder. And uh, Is he level two? He's level two. That's kind of really sad. This guy's level ten. I suppose that is the good thing about particle cannons is because they can hit so far, they just constantly get an XP from killing things. Look at his range. It's not that big considering this side's empty, but still. Could we get another one of those, like over here maybe? I do plan on buying other turrets, guys. I'm just getting on top of this, although I do kind of think this is good for the time being. So we know an encampment place mines, right? So we want to put that down like next to that. Oh, he's got like a square radius. That's weird. So he's going to place landmines down. Oh, there's one. See how much damage it does to this guy with the shield? Oh, dear. Not not great. Um, I'm going to put another one down over here, though. I'm going to demolish that one and place it down again. Now it gets both lanes. Okay. Yeah, not my favourite towers. I do want more mortars, including one right there. One over here as well soon. Just need to get some more money. Mana seems to be doing okay. Look, we're back up to the top by the end of the round, which is what we want. Ooh. Don't really want this just yet. What I do want, though, is blast radius on the mortars. Yes, sir. Okay. Another mortar over... I want to put it on the plus two, on the plus three spot, so I'm going to put one there. It's pretty good range. I think I'm going to want one. I want one over here somewhere, but the range is really awkward, right? Like that is kind of just a weird area. Maybe we're going to need another one over here, I think. It's because this middle bit, if this would have been failed, we'd have been okay. Okay, I think I want another particle cannon next, but he is 1250. Didn't actually place these mana siphons down, so I'm going to focus on that next. Plus 53 a second. We're staying at the the top end of our mana bar right now, which is nice. There we go. Okay, that's that mana crystal full. There is no more. I would like to get the card that taxes the dead soon, because we've got so many gravestones about, but I think it uses mana to tax them as well, so that's another situation. But we're doing good. Mana's doing good right now. 55 per second is keeping us going. Oh my god. Okay, this is clean. I do really like the obelisks, I'll be honest. Unsure about the whole landmine situation right now, the encampments, but I'm sure they get good once they get upgraded. Probably do a lot of damage to people. Yeah, there you go, with armor and not, not shields. So. I feel like they do do damage, it's just... Shields are strong. Oh, we can afford another particle cannon. So that guy's range. So we're going to want one like on here then. Oh, that's nice. I like that a lot. Let's, let's change him to most shields. Same as this one. Okay, nice. There's lifesteal. Now, I do like the particle cannon upgrades, but I feel like this, this lifesteal for mana is going to be huge. We get 1% back per kill. Okay, what lane would we like the next Ugi to walk down? I guess still the longest lane, right? So he's like the last person alive. So this one. So we're going to expand this one next turn. Do we need any more mortars? I feel like we do, but I feel like where would you put one? 
Let's put one there. Yeah, why not? Gets this little bit because that covers. Yeah, that's almost perfect actually. Perfect coverage. Okay. We're going to need more mana banks. I feel like I should be putting them down just in case, you know. I just thought that's a big waste of money. When we could afford another particle cannon maybe or obelisk soon, so. Let's see how we get on this round. The next round's going to be another big test because of course it's an Oogie round. I feel like we don't have that many obelisk upgrades as well. Which is scaring me a little bit. Considering we're kind of relying on those right now. I must be honest though, I think mortars are becoming one of my favourites as well. We've had those since the start and I've just barely appreciated them. When I say since the start, I mean like since the start of this like whole series, since we started playing this game. Oh, these guys need to change to most armor. That's probably where I'm going wrong with these, actually. We got to set those. Oops. I will still take poison sprayers, though, I'll be honest. I would. I feel like right now I need this, some kind of slow cards, or maybe the frost keep now. Got a lot of money as well, so maybe we could afford another obelisk pretty soon. Okay, do we need mana right now? I don't think so. However, I do think we're going to need one when I add another obelisk. The Oog is going to come from this. Oh no. he's He's got no armor. It's all shields. That's a really big situation. Um, I feel like that park cannon is not hitting the Oogie. Okay, he did then. Do I put another obelisk down or do I put another park or cannon down? I don't know. Um, right, I'm going to get an obelisk down and it's going to go. It's going to go right there and I'm just going to let him hit whatever he needs to hit kind of thing. Particle cannon is slowly doing damage to this guy, which is nice. Once he's in range of both particle cannons, that'd be even better. You can almost afford another one, so I may just purchase another one and put it on this little cliff as well over here maybe okay there goes our third particle cannon let's change him to most sh oh most shield sorry dude this guy is not gonna make it particle cannons are slowly doing damage he's got 8,000 stacks of poison on him as well thanks to the particle cannons that was a good shout Let's get some more mana banks down because I'm getting a little bit worried. Only a little bit. He's not going to make it. Particle Cannon's doing absolute wonders right now for the squad. He's almost out of shields completely. On, he's almost onto his HP. Oh, this is exciting. He's got no shields left. Everybody's on HP only. He has summoned some little, some little shield people though. Oh, he's going to die right now. Goodbye, zombie Yugi. Wow, okay. Now, there is poison sprayers, but I think we're going to get all particle cannons deal plus two damage to shields instead. How about that? I then think we're going to expand this way, and I honestly think we need more particle cannons. So, I'm going to put one here. Okay, maybe a waste, but this could spread down here, you know. Let's also change it to most shields, of course, like the others. Let's get another mana bank down uh, here. Are we going to do it? We did a lot better against the Oogie than I thought we were going to do. So it's exciting. More mortars, I think, you know. Although I do want more obelisks as well. Particle cannons is just... Oh, they're wonderful. Right, let's keep going, though. Oh, I almost got about the chest. Yes, we'll get life steal too. Thank you. All particle cannons gain plus 10 range. That's a yes. Big range on the... Par that particle cannon covers the whole map now. Oh, my God. They both do. That's insane. So do we just want to put loads there, I feel like, for now? Let's hope that this loops around here, because then we wouldn't have to buy any more. Oh, we could, but... 
So when we can afford it, I'm going to put another one on here because that covers the whole map. That's exciting. Oh, what's going on here? It's a bit scary. We've got an obelisk there, so that should stop them. But still, they're getting close. Another particle cannon's going on the area there. Don't know why I put it so far over that way. I'm obsessed with these increased range particle cannons. They're so good. Look at that. These guys are getting close, so I don't like it too much. Oh my god. I think we need... Yeah, let's add burn damage to our particle cannons. Why not? Oh, it has a chance of looping around this way, which is very exciting. And look at the... Look at the electric strikes going across the map. Do I want... What do I want? I need to think about what I want. Do I want another obelisk somewhere, maybe? Like... You know, there's a few spots where I feel like we could have an obelisk soon. Look at these landmines being shut out now. Kind of stacking up a little bit. Still not my favourite tower. I th I'm thinking about getting another part of cannon on here, if I'm being completely honest. I can almost afford another one. It's a good spot. It covers the whole map, you know? Let's definitely purchase one. There we go. Most shields. Most shields. Oh, you're not most shields. Okay. Lots of particle cannons happening right now. Lots. Oh my god, look at all the colours. I love this. Right. Mana's actually doing surprisingly okay, but I'm going to get a few more down. So I kind of want it to stay maxed, if that sounds kind of stupid, I know, but... I'm scared of us just running out, like, on a, on a level where we just got overwhelmed and we have no mana and nobody can shoot. It's going to be a big issue, so... And 77 mana generation per second. And I guess that's kind of without the the, the lifesteal too, right? Those particle cannons are so crazy. Okay. Um, all obelisks deal plus one to health. Yes. If, you, if you've seen the... Oh, it doesn't loop round. If you've seen the upgrade that keeps appearing, um, about asking me about uh, if I want to take a poison sprayer, I know I said earlier on I wanted them. I think now we're okay. I think now we are okay. I think we should get a few shredders in here and there, you know? Just to kind of help out a little bit. Also, like, we're not really using them that much. I feel like we should maybe be leveling them up, you know? Add some bleed. Bleed's helpful against high health enemies. Oh, I'm not going to hear that sound for the rest of the run. I can't believe this. Particle cannons are incredible. So, we probably want more mortars as well, actually. Especially now we're going down this direction a little bit. Like this area is not covered, you know. So, we'll see where this goes. If it loops back around here, that'd be a good spot for a mortar, obviously. One there. I'm kind of tempted to just buy more particle cannons as well. Plus two. Any more plus threes around here? There's one there we could use, although it's a bit too far that way. Maybe one over here. I just want anything that's going to... Does it even need a plus three on it, though, I suppose? We could just put it, like, right in the centre there, and it'd probably get a big range of people. Mm, this is worrying down here. See how tanky these guys are and the obelisk isn't really doing a lot. I'm scared. Okay, particle cannons are doing a lot though. I'll give them that. Okay, nice. Oh my god. I've seen lifesteal, but I've also seen all particle cannons gain another plus 10 range. Oh my god. They're going to cover the whole map. I'm obsessed. Right, more particle cannons it is. 
We can just put them wherever we want, because they're going to cover yeah, the whole map regardless. So I'll put another one down right there. The range is insane. Oh, we need to change them to most shields. The reason they're on most shields is because I'm hoping it's just going to obliterate like any high health shield unit that comes in. I can't get over it. I really can't get over it. They look fantastic when they shoot as well, but <laughs> let's get a shredder over here, you know, just to help out. There's a big wave of people that come in here, or that it's a bit late there, I suppose, because I think it only passes through like five enemies as well, not the whole lane, which kind of sucks. Could put some more encampments down as well, you know, why not? Let's, let's use a bunch of towers. Need to see frost keeps again though, because I still want that. I should have taken it earlier, but in all fairness, we were after like a big, like we were in the middle of a big mana kind of fix at that time. Um, so that's why we didn't um, take the frost keeps. But now I'd be open to taking one as long as it isn't a better upgrade on the board at that time of selection, of course. Can we get another mana siphon? Oh, it's a different level, isn't it? No, okay, we can't. Okay, I think we're doing fine. I mean, look at our mana at the end of a round. That's what we want. That's what we want it at the max. Okay, 1,200 gold. We can't afford another park or cannon. We can't afford some mortars. We can't really afford any more. Oh. I don't really want to tax people right now, but use mana. Should we try it? Or do we get all obelisks steal plus two damage? I feel like we, let's upgrade our obelisks a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna upgrade this path. I am going for another particle cannon if you couldn't tell. I feel like that range is just too busted. I feel like once we upgrade everything, we should add other towers, but I don't think we're gonna to get to a point where we upgrade everything because there's only 45 waves. Okay, it's 2750 for another particle cannon. He will be going in the middle again as well. Just because that covers everything. Even if this loops all the way around there and this loops all the way around there, it's covered. But attacks are so cool. So my thinking is that's going to obliterate an Ugi with high shields. Although I think the next one has shields and brain. And I think shields and brain. Shields and uh, armor. And then the brain one has like just stupid amounts of both That is insane. I kind of just want to keep saving it for more particle cannons, to be honest. Look how fun they are. Ooh. Reduce the mana cost of all obelisks by 20%. That seems like a pretty fair upgrade. Oh my god. Now, I'm not saying I need one on there, but I'm saying, what is plus six range on there? What is this? This is ridiculous. He covers all the way over there from that tower. Change the most shields, so of course. Did we change this one to most shields? We didn't actually. There is an occult shrine there, but we haven't taken that card once again. See if you can reduce the mana cost of obelisks. That's such a good card. That's such a good upgrade. So I'm going to keep expanding this way, by the way, for the obelisks. Although, I don't, I don't really think it matters. I think the because the particle cannons can literally reach anywhere from everywhere. Or everywhere from anywhere, whichever way you want to say it. I feel like the route's not going to matter too much. 
But this one does have an extra obelisk on it, so... <laughs> might put another one there as well, actually. I think I might, you know, instead of... Do I just add more... I really want to add more particle cannons, because they're just fun. Hopefully we can get some more upgrades for them, actually. But it's going to be 3,250 for the next one, so I'm thinking we put an obelisk on here. And then we'll make... Yeah, let's, let's make this the next Oogie Path, for sure. Okay. So we'll keep it great on this one until it's the turn of the Oogie. It's the Robo Oogie next, isn't it? What if he has more armor than shields? Are we in trouble then? Probably. Let's, let's get a mortar over here while we're here, actually. It's probably the worst place to put one, in all fairness. Um, all obelisks here, one damage to armor, sure. Okay. Let's move this mortar from there. It's a pretty bad place to put one. Let's put one there instead. Still not great, actually. Let's keep expanding this way. Ooh. I am thinking about another obelisk on there. Let's change this to most armor also. I do now kind of want to get a mortar that fires, like, exclusively here. Because big clumps of enemies, you know? Change it to most armor, of course. Okay, nice. The particle cannons. Right, definitely another obelisk on here. Then I'm thinking, if we get enough money before the Oogie round, a particle cannon in the middle again. Yeah, these guys definitely do reach from there, so that's cool. I'm so excited. I'm, I'm thinking of going this route purely because there's another obelisk there. So that could help out quite a lot, right? So we'd be obelisk, obelisk, obelisk. Back to that obelisk. Round obelisk. All the particle cannons in the meantime. You can almost afford the obelisk as well. Nice. Okay. It's insane. It's actually insane. Okay. I want a few damage upgrades, I think, to the obelisks, but I'm not really sure from now. Like, I don't... They are doing fine. People are getting through, but that's expected because we, like, have no towers. <laughs> we used to have a cluster of very large cannons in the middle of the map, and that's about it. Okay, what have we got? All obelisks. Reduce the mana of them again. You know what? Yeah. Does make me want to put another one on there, though, to be honest. Let's go for it. Okay. Two more waves until the Oogie round. It's only wave 35, though, so... Still a long way to go. It's actually bonkers how these particle cannons work. I just can't get my head around it. Look at it. That's such a cool shot. It looks like something out of Harry Potter, you know? Loads of electric going to the one guy. Okay, we're doing fine at the minute. Yeah, see how little damage that does to these tanky guys though. That's my issue with obelisks now is that they are strong. We got a lot of them, but it's starting to get a little bit spooky. Mana's doing okay. It's almost dropping below 700 there, but it's still really good. Oh, it's dropped below. Uh oh, I saw it go to 600 then. Are we going to need more mana banks? Hopefully not. I think we're fine. We've still got like 600 mana if we do drop into the 600s. We can afford the new particle cannon. I guess where that's going. That's right. Right in the middle again. Let's change that to most shields, of course. Oh my god. They're getting past a little bit here, but we've got other lists ready to clear it up. Nice. 
Okay, this is our last wave before the next Ugi wave. We are going to... All obelisks deal plus one damage to shields. We're going to take that upgrade. We're going to go down here again. Oh, would you look at that? Now, I feel like that should be an obelisk this time instead of a particle cannon. Um, that's just my thoughts on that. Because there's no need for that to be a particle cannon, really. We get another obelisk to do another two lanes. You know, that's going to work quite nicely. So to make sure that we do not extend this pathway next, we need to extend this pathway. And then the, the Oogie will come from this way. Just the way it works. The Ugi travels from the path, from the longest path that you didn't upgrade, that you didn't expand, sorry. Yeah. The Ugi comes from the longest from the longest path that you didn't expand on the Ugi rounds. New obelisk on there, plus four. Decent range. It's a shame we can't expand that tile, because that'd be quite useful. Oh, look at that. Oh my days. Okay. Look at the mana, guys. More mana banks needed, I think. It's getting down to the 200s. That's terrifying. There are some crystals we can siphon from over here. Oh, man. This is actually not good. I think it's all the new obelisks we've put down. <laughs> Completely ruined everything. Okay, more mana banks as well. Oh no, dude. That is scary. Especially if the obelisk is going to be going non-stop on the Oogie. Right, let's have a look at the damage real quick. Particle cannon. Total damage. Okay. Oh, what's the obelisk has done the most still. Makes sense, to be fair. Okay, all particle cannons deal burn or bleed. I feel like we reduced the mana of all obelisks by a favor 20%, if I'm being completely honest. We're not going to expand there, because that's where the Oogie will come from. It worked like a charm. Oh my god. Look at his shields already. Oh my god. This guy's getting destroyed. <gasps> now, they don't do that much damage to armor, to be fair, so... That might be a bit of a challenge, but we'll see how it goes. Very exciting, isn't it? So our mana should be okay now, purely because we have... Um... Yeah, I'm scared about the shield situation, if I'm being honest. I know the obelisk will do damage to it, but when? Because they're going to target... Okay, I think we need to change it to obelisks target most armor from now on. Because that's... Yeah, that's what we need to do. Okay. That's my bad. I should have done that sooner. Okay, all obelisks, most armor. Well, that one already was, actually. Wait, did I... I think I was meant to do that, because all the other ones are most armor, apart from the new ones. Where is he? Here we go. Now it's paying off. Let's get another particle cannon down in the middle of the map. Change it to most shields, because that worked so well against that Oogie when he spawned. Oh, look at the mana. Uh-oh. More mana banks needed. Uh. Even with the 20% mana reduction. Oh, the Oogie's almost dead. Oh my god. The Oogie's actually almost dead. We've got a real chance at this today. On 99 mana regeneration per second. You can still upgrade it with more mana banks, though. Here we go. Here he is. So it has taken us a lot longer to kill him than, like, the burst of damage we did at the start, purely because he's not getting focused, but he is now. We don't want that. Do we get it? Let's get it, and let's try it out. Frost Keep to slow down enemies. So we're going to want one of these pretty much... Everywhere, I feel like, you know. Everywhere possible, we just want to slow enemies down. But I need to be really careful in doing this because, well, one, we've run out of mana. But two, how much mana is it going to use? Oh, do they, oh, they just get kind of slowed in the area, I guess. 
Well, this is weird. It also makes an absolutely horrendous sound. Um, but I'm here for it if it's going to help us, you know. Let's get a few more of these guys down. Definitely get one over there. It's a pretty big area. We need one here as well. 950 for the next one. I am trying to keep an eye on the mana as well, though. Because they're going to use a lot of mana now. Does it show you how much mana they use? I don't think it does. Dude, this is insane. Okay, let's get some more. Where do we want one? Over here somewhere, right? Just put it there. Can't really do two lanes. It doesn't matter what range it's on. Need one over here as well. It's 10, oh, sorry, 10, 10,000. It's 1,050 for the next frost key. I'm guessing we can upgrade these to slow a lot more because they are slowing, but not as good as like the slow upgrades we've seen in the past. From um, yeah, the poison sprays and stuff and the ballista slow. They're both really, really strong. So hopefully we can increase that with upgrades. Then we've got to find those upgrades, which is the next thing, I guess. Gotta make sure everybody gets slowed pretty much the whole time. Need one on there, one on there. Okay, I'm going to have to pause after this round, so I do apologise. Obviously, it's going to be one second. Ooh. Wait, they deal damage as well? I thought they just slowed people. Okay, what do we want here? All obelisks deal free damage to health. Honestly, I'm going to go for this. Okay. And uh, I'm going to pause here, guys. So I'll be back um, in a second. Hey, everyone. I'm back. So we defeated the Oogie. Let's get that chest. In fact, didn't we defeat the Oogie on the previous level? So I kind of forgot about that. Um, all frost keeps deal. I didn't know the deal damage, so I will take that. And then, honestly, place next to occult shrines to discover lost knowledge. I've never used this before, so what does it do? Does it just generate? Wait, it gives us bonuses. Like, oh my god, I forgot. I forgot how much, uh, how many things we had, how many cannons, particle cannons we had. Also, all the sounds are being made are disgusting. So how does this work? Fund research cost? Do we have to... What do we want then? Do we want... Um, let's, let's put some money into... Oh, yeah, discovery chance. Oh, very slim. Minor investments achievement just unlocked on Steam. That's kind of nice. 12% chance of finding anything. We need to be higher than that. I want to get some some shield bonuses in. That's a really cool investment though. Really cool little thing down there. Never used one of those before. What else have we never used? We never used the frost keep before until today, so that's quite exciting as well. Put some more money in there, make it 17% chance. Still kind of rubbish though. Um, right, more frost keeps maybe. I think so. Ooh, that's interesting to me. What do we put on there, though? I do feel like we're a bit of a particle cannon. Let's fill this mana crystal with mana siphons first, though. I'm just scared that we haven't got enough damage to armor at the minute. Um, I'm confident we can obliterate all the shields that are on the big oogie towards the end, right? The big brain oogie, which is next at 45. So we're still quite a way away, though. But I'm worried about the armor. Um. Yeah, I'm just worried about it. What am I got? Do I put an obelisk on? I, I don't want to put on there. Oh, I don't know. Okay, let's get um all mortars gain fifty percent blast radius. Ooh, it's got the undergraduate achievement on Steam. I'm guessing that means it's. Oh, we've discovered something. Okay, let's put some more money into this. 26% chance we can just improve that those damage modifiers I do I, I yeah to be fair I put all of this into shield so we might have to do a different one like a different university to get the the health and the armor studies up a little bit but I feel like shields are pretty big one considering some of these guys have got huge shields it does make me want to put more particle cannons down but they're so expensive now 3750 for one 
Oh, dude, I love particle cannons, though. They just look so cool when they shoot all of them at once at the same target. Maybe an obelisk on there. You know, it could reach... It would reach to here. I don't think it would reach any further than there, though, maybe. I just kind of want to keep upgrading this. 30% chance almost. Get a shield upgrade or shield damage upgrade, modifier upgrade, whatever. I feel like more frost keeps are needed, but where, you know? Basically, wherever there's an obelisk, to be honest, all here. This is where I wanted to put two. Okay, let's put one. I don't even have a plus three spot. You can go there. Nice. Let's get another frost keep on here as well. It's 13.50 for the next one. How are we doing? See, this is a situation, man. Look how tanky these guys are. We've also got to think, on the Oogie round, right, we've got those weird portal guys that are literally just walking portals that summon enemies. Oh, this is a real bad situation we're in right now, actually. How do I fix this? I mean, they are getting killed, don't get me wrong, but... This is round 38 and they're getting this close. I feel like I need poison and fire things now more than ever. Uh. Okay, they're dying though. They are dying, which is good. They're getting... Oh, they are getting through in the first place, which is what's hurting me the most. Oh, that At least one of those is getting through. Yeah, we lost three lives. Okay. Poison sprayers. It's time, guys. It's time. They're going to be low level, but they're going to do what we need them to do. So it's all about range with these guys, right? So I'm not really too bothered about that. What I am hoping for is these guys will give us what I hope is the slow buff. You know, the poison spray is slow people buff. And I hope they give us that pretty soon, in all fairness. Um, because that would help a lot. Obviously, frost keeps aren't slowing as much as I thought they would, but it's gonna be—we're a long way off getting that that slow buff. So, poison spray is also gonna be incredibly weak right now because they've had no upgrades the whole game. I, I'm just—I'm missing that extra summit, you know. And I'm hoping this can help. I also would like flame throwers at this point in the game as well, but I will have to see if we're that lucky. I don't think particle cannons can carry us to the end. Look at our mana, by the way. Uh oh, yeah, that's what happens when we place constant spraying poison sprayers down. So maybe it's time for some more mana banks as well. But I mean, it's not a maybe. We are definitely due some more mana investments. 110 a second. We're, we're going to hit zero. We're about to hit zero mana. Oh, no. Yeah, we're hitting it right now. Okay, more mana banks, please. Now, how useful are the poison sprayers going to be? I think they could be really useful on top of the... The beams, the, the obelisk beams. The key thing to remember is that we actually don't have um, any poison upgrades. Never mind poison spray upgrades. So the maximum poison is still bare minimum, you know. That's kind of a scary thing to think about. Our mana is a scary thing to think about right now. I am not enjoying that situation at all. And enemies are starting to get past this area as well. I do think more slows would help so maybe some more frost keeps or hopefully there's like a frost keep upgrade that you know increases the slow um but we need that poison sprayer slow i think oh this is scary i don't like this i should be putting other towers down but i need to fix the mana situation as well okay we're losing a few lives here we need more things. What, can, what else can we get? What's going to really help? I don't know. Oh. We're on 10 lives currently. And there's some healthy, healthy, healthy units coming through. Okay, still on 10 lives. They're not going to heal that much. Although we have got fortification and repairs, but we haven't got the mines. We don't get mines again. Okay. All poison sprayers gain plus one. All obelisks deal 25% poison damage. Let's get
get that because that would probably help with the shields, wouldn't it? Okay. I see a mana siphon over here. I'm going to use it. Right, what do we need? We need stuff. We need a lot of stuff, in all fairness. We need it everywhere. We just need stuff that can help. I think poison sprayers can help. I would like a frost keep here. Okay. Um, and now I'm kind of stuck, to be honest. We're going to want more mana again as well. Oh, I don't know, dude. I think I'm doomed. I think I'm really, really doomed. Um, okay, we've got two shield damage here, which is quite nice. I don't really want to upgrade that any more than I already have, though, if I'm being all fair. Oh, there's yeah, two shield damage. We could get another university down and get some health damage bonuses, but I think for now, this isn't too bad. I think, honestly, just more frost keeps. Like, I think it might help out a bunch if we can just slow people more. does just sound like a Christmas film constantly though, doesn't it? Little jingle bells all the time. Okay, more mana, dude. Look at the mana situation. Ah, I don't like this. I really don't like this. I'm starting to get so scared. You just can't shoot that much because you haven't got enough mana. It's as simple as that. They're getting through again. They're getting through again. Those two new poison sprays didn't help, obviously. Come on, mana bank. You just need... Oh, this is so bad. How much must we be using? I doesn't tell you, does it? Oh, there's a lot. There's, yeah, I think we lose here. There's a lot about to get through. I can add ballistas, but they're not going to do a thing, really. No. Nope. No, we were so close. Down to eight lives. They're all coming through. It's clear that we need to get poison sprays earlier. God damn it. I thought that was it. I thought we really had it, you know. We beat the other Oogies so well. And to get defeated by normal enemies kind of hurts. God damn it. Okay, we just needed, like, I think, honestly, let's think about what we don't want to use next time to kind of maybe desaturate the, the upgrade pool a bit. We probably don't want shredders or encampments, I think. And I think those two could probably go. I definitely want mortars, particle cannon, obelisk, poison sprayer, frost key. We definitely want mana bank and mana siphon, university. I'm gonna be honest, I wouldn't mind getting it. It obviously works. Maybe earlier on, if you find a shrine earlier on. But yeah. Oh well, that honestly really sucks. Uh, let's have a look. We're almost there. Ah, oh, were these the portal guys? Yeah. We wouldn't have made it. Look how far the portal guys got without dying. They're just healthy, I suppose. But honestly, they're getting, they are getting killed here by the Poison Sprayer and Obelisk. Maybe it was just upgrades we needed. Oh, I got the Poison Sprayer too late. Oh, well, I think you can say we learned a lot today. Like we did, right? Like, you know, I know I'm still bad at the game, but we tried different towers and I learned stuff. Starting to build my dream kind of build. Now we know what we want. Definitely want a park with Cannon Early again, because those things, get those upgraded. It's a good day. Well, that'll do it for today's video. Anybody? Any, anybody? Anyway, so thank you all for watching. Um, we'll be back again soon, I'm sure. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you all again next time. Goodbye!